In a quiet corner of British Columbia, the western toad tadpoles embark on their incredible daily migration. A fearless and epic journey as these little animals navigate the perils of the aquatic environment and metamorphosis. For the past four years, I've been coming to a remote lake on Vancouver Island where each springtime the western toads lay their eggs. In just a matter of days, these eggs will hatch into tadpoles. Then, an amazing unseen journey begins. Each morning, the tadpoles come together to form a cloud, a meandering congregation of hundreds of thousands of tadpoles, all with a singular focus. They rise from the deeper parts of the lake and travel towards a specific area of shallow water, swimming a daring gauntlet along the way. Weaving in and out of lily pads, it's one of the most incredible yet rarely seen migrations. It's also a very challenging environment to photograph. These little guys move surprisingly fast, and with constantly changing lighting conditions and visibility, it is one of the toughest natural events I've filmed. They're always on the move, so for me, the key is to spend as many hours in the water as possible capturing footage so I can share this story. In an effort to reduce the impact of my presence here, I choose to snorkel, as it's the least invasive method for me to capture my images. A simple wetsuit, mask, snorkel, and fins make it easier for me to get close to these fearless little creatures. It's a fragile environment, and as with most lakes, the bottom substrate is very fine and loose so I have to be especially careful with my movements or I'll lose visibility. Even the tadpoles can stir up the silt. I also take advantage of the natural trails made from beavers that live here. They like to eat the lily pad roots, leaving behind a series of natural trails that I make use of where possible. People don't think of tadpoles as being photogenic, but when you take the time to look at their features, they're actually very cute. They have a permanent smile on their face that you form an instant connection with. Witnessing their journey each day, there's a strong emotional bond I can't help but feel. Being born in British Columbia, I remember often seeing tadpoles as a young boy. So to be in the water as a photographer, capturing their journey now, it has been a lifetime in the making. Seeing the thick black mass of tadpoles moving like a winding river was just mind-blowing. An estimated 3 million tadpoles live in this one location. One of my friends compared it to the migration of wildebeest moving across the Serengeti but on a tiny scale. The tadpoles feed on algae found on lily pads, grass, fallen logs, and even the occasional hand. When they're not swimming, you can bet these little ones are feeding. Their metamorphosis requires a lot of food, and the lake has an abundance of nutrients ready to fuel their journey. But their journey is not without danger, as the tadpoles aren't the only animals living in this lake looking for food. Water bugs will strike on an unsuspecting lone tadpole, feeding on its eyeballs, a creepy, heartbreaking display of predatory skill, but one necessary for its own survival. And whilst loons and trout will also impose their predatory expertise onto the tadpoles, the most striking of predators is the leech. Detecting their prey with a range of different sophisticated sensors, these leeches move quickly before striking and swallowing their prey. It's an impressive but sad sight when the tadpoles meet such a grisly end. However, it's all an important part of the lake's fragile ecosystem. Those that survive the long swim seek refuge in the shallow area of the lake, basking in the warmer, oxygen-rich waters and feeding on the abundance of microplants and algae. 
In a few hours, they'll turn around and run the gauntlet once more, this time back towards the deeper parts of the lake where they'll rest for the night before repeating the entire migration the next day and the next. During the six to eight weeks of their metamorphosis, the tadpoles will evolve dramatically. First, their back legs will begin to appear, which they'll start using while swimming. They develop patterns and colors, and their front legs will grow internally before breaking out of their thin skin. The tadpoles slowly start to use their new legs, learning how to walk and hop underwater. As other respiratory systems begin to develop, they will gradually stop extracting oxygen from the water using their gills. Finally, their tails will become redundant and the tadpoles will take their first clumsy steps on land, becoming toadlets. After four seasons of filming here, I finally got to see a western toad take its very first bites, eating tiny bugs under the canopy of the forest. They now begin a new journey on land, before eventually heading back to their aquatic birthplace to find a mate, and start the cycle once more, introducing a new generation of tadpoles to a fragile environment that faces constant threat from urban development. This year I asked conservationists Christina Minnemeyer and Paul Nicklin to join me while filming the migration. What I really loved about this event, it's just the fascination I have with an animal that you never get to see underwater. We get to imagine the little tadpoles, but following in their migration, you know, being part of their group as they move through the lake, for me was just mesmerizing. You know, I felt like a tadpole. You know, at first you jump in the water here and, and you you start to see the swarms. You see millions of these tadpoles and you're disconnected from them. But then you start to spend hours every day with them and you start to get very intimate and close with them, looking at their individual eyes, you, their individual characters, and you get to sort of almost see into the soul of a single tadpole. You have this sort of emotional connection to this animal and you realize they are an indicator species to you know, a fragile and in many ways a, a changing and vulnerable ecosystem. Like Paul and Christina, I also love the challenge of capturing these incredible wildlife moments. Bringing these unseen underwater marvels into people's lives is highly important. Through better communication comes understanding, and through better understanding, together we will learn to respect and preserve these fragile and threatened ecosystems. At some point, we must learn to put these little guys first. As a photographer, it was incredibly rewarding to see my experiences published for others to discover. Watching the tadpole story jump to life in the pages of a magazine is an interesting continuation to their journey. By sharing their story in ways that will enter homes around the world, it will help people connect with a species that is rarely seen or understood. To see these aquatic tadpoles evolve into terrestrial animals before my own eyes was humbling and heartwarming. It left me feeling like a proud parent, and it's proof that the smallest of animals and have the biggest of impacts.